Welcome to Midlife Flysis. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or leave a comment. I read and answer them all. If you are interested in any of the flies I use in the video, or in a guided trip with me, visit my website, link in description, or email me. I'd be happy to tie some flies for you, or have you as a guest for a day. A question I often get is, how soon can you catch the same fish? Up until this summer, I found it hard to answer for a couple of reasons. First, I tend to move quickly when fishing, so I rarely fish the same piece of water long enough to catch the same fish. Second, I don't keep fish out of the water very long, so I don't often get a really good look at them, and fish tend to look very similar. On this particular day, all the conditions were perfect, including catching a fish with a distinctive mark on it to make ID certain. So, how soon can you catch the same fish? Well, the soonest for me? 13 minutes, 25 seconds. But I'm really interested in hearing how soon have you caught the same fish? So sound off in the comments. How quickly and what species? We won't ask for locations because we know that's not cool. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. And here's the start of our story. Craig has just hooked this nice cut with a big mark on its side, using a drive. As soon as he releases it, we'll start the clock. All right, Craig's gonna release his beauty cut here. Better smile. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Good luck again. Beauty. Of course, there are a lot of factors that can influence this number. Those factors would include species. I would think cutthroat would have the shortest recatch time given their desperate feeding patterns and short active season. Season, certainly season makes a difference as fish are feeding more in their active season. Water type, eh? in a spot where fish see a lot of different food types, you would be less likely to double up. In a spot where fish see little food or little variation, a fish would be more likely to feed on anything that came by. And lastly is probably technique. It's probably less likely to catch a fish on the same technique, let alone the same fly. In the case of Craig and I, Craig caught this fish on a dry, while I caught it on a dog's breakfast nymph, after it had gone deep. There we go. Whoa! Nice I think that might have been the one I got. It looks like it. Did he have any marks on him? Uh, this one's got a big mark on his side. On the right hand side. Yeah, yeah, this is the same fish you just caught. Yeah, he's got a big wound. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Almost lost my rod. There we go. Okay. All right. So I just caught Craig's fish from a few minutes ago. We can tell because he's got this big wound on the side of it. That's got to be a record to catch two the same fish only a few minutes apart. I don't think so. All right, let's
let's get you back in there. Yeah, he's beautiful, eh? Yeah. You want to try it again? They're obviously still biting. Or he is. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Again, if you're interested in any of the flies that I use in the video, please email me at midlifeflysis at gmail.com. Or if you're interested in a guided trip, same email. Be happy to have you as a guest for a day. Hope everyone has had a, a good winter. We're looking forward to hopefully what will be a good spring. If you could do us a big favor and contact your MLA to help us oppose open pit coal mines in our province, that would be greatly appreciated. Hope you all have a wonderful spring, and we'll see you soon.